Um, the music I have just played now is called Spring of My Hometown. It is probably the most popular children's song in South Korea. The song is also well known across many generations in South Korea because it has a particular historical significance in Korea. It was made during the time of Japanese colonization of the Korean Peninsula. After the World War II and the following liberation from Japan, Korea was divided into two separate countries in 1945. The Korean War, a decade later, and when it ended in a ceasefire, marked a separation of a demilitarized zone called DMZ. 72 years later, in this year of 2017, North Korea and South Korea still remain separated by the DMZ. Like many South Koreans, my grandfather came from North Korea during the Korean War. His mother had stayed behind, and then they never met again in his lifetime. But my grandfather never forgot her, and I remember he kept a pair of her shoes in his drawer. However, only 20 times of the separate family meetings were held since the Korean War. And numbers over there estimated from 10 million to only 71,000 left. And nearly 45,000 have already passed away without a reunion with their loved ones. There are many reasons that people from North and South Korea are not allowed to meet besides the division of the nation, because we had a war against each other, so many families were killed, and this hostility still remains today. And also the Korean War has not ended yet, and every contact should be regulated and permitted by both governments. Although there were some positive results after the summit meetings of two Korea's leaders, which we had some exchange programs of travel and business, but they did not last due to political situations. Based on my understanding of my grandfather's painful separation and of many other people in South Korea, I decided to seek opportunities to meet the North Korean with the skill I had, which was music through music, with learning harmony, by learning the South-North Korean relations. The goal is to establish peace in the Korean Peninsula, so people from both countries travel and meet together until unification. But here's a question that I would like to pose before talking about my project. What is peace? From a musical perspective, peace is harmony. According to the dictionary, it is a state of being in agreement on concord. When I was in high school, <coughs> I took the advanced uh, placement chemistry class. It was very difficult, and I was struggling. And one day, I thought came upon a profound insight regarding the periodic table and asked my chemistry teacher to confirm with my brilliant idea. I said, is it possible that all the chemical elements in the periodic table can bond together to make a one single product? And he responded, Hyungjun, you will go to the Juilliard school, so why are you in this class? Well, of course, it was a silly question, and the answer is negative. But I found later that orchestras are 
all musical versions of the periodic table. It comprises of the sounds of the many different instruments that come together to make one harmony. And let's see how they sound like. Anyone recognize this video in this hall? Really? Beethoven Symphony 9th by legendary conductor Leonard Bernstein. It was performed right after the collapse of the Berlin Wall in 1989. See how amazing it is with choirs and the orchestra, more than 100 people, they play in harmony with different instruments, with different sounds, all in together. Well, it is actually amazing that the musicians in an orchestra are able to communicate to each other in unison while they're busy you know, playing their own parts. So let's analyze how they do that and see what we can learn from that. Remember what I just did just before I played my violin? Yes, it is called tuning. Thank you. As some of you might already knew, the four strings of the violin are ascending in fifth on G, D, A, E. And all four of them must be in harmony before you do anything else. Otherwise, no matter how beautifully and emotionally you play, you will only discord and the bad performance would be left. So this tuning, therefore, is essential for the entire orchestra. At any concert hall performance, you would see the following three steps. First, the concertmaster stands up. Second, the oboist plays a standard pitch of A, which is 440 hertz equals 440 vibration per second. Third. Everyone else in the orchestra tunes to the A. However, without listening, this tuning would be impossible. I have to listen to that A very carefully when I tune, just like everyone else in the orchestra. I also need to listen as I play to make sure that I keep the rhythm and the dynamics as everyone else. This process is essential to harmony. I believe we can apply this same process of listening and tuning to the Korean Peninsula, which is so complicated in discord. And we should approach it in a new way, which we've never attempted before. And one of the ways in establishing peace is to make a concert at the joint security area at Panmunjom where the armistice agreement was signed and still North and South Korean forces stand face to face. In 2015, after many years of attempting to convince two Korean governments, including the United Nations Command, the choirs from north and the orchestra from south. They were planned to meet across the borderline at Panmunjom on the 17th 
anniversary of the Liberation Day. However, we were not able to cross the bridge to get Panmunjom because there was a landmine explosion in DNC and my government had to cancel the concert. But imagine when we are standing across the borderline and you're not supposed to talk, meet, and touch. Then music is the only ultimate medium of understanding through which people are forced to listen to each other, regardless of their nationality in inculcated backgrounds. So now, it is not a dream anymore that I want to see musicians from North and South Korea come together and listen to their sounds in sharing the experience of one orchestra. At last, this is my conclusion. What if I give you some topics to all of you here? For example, lunch. What are we going to have a lunch? Of course, we'll have different answers. Love, tons of you know, different answers in regarding perspectives, right? Universe, whatever. But if I give you instruments with some music, we are in harmony. It is because naturally, we know for ourselves that we have to listen to each other to make harmony. Thank you very much.